Rescue me, rescue me, rescue me. That's right. This is Randy. I'm back again for this show. Uh, Deborah's off doing her thing, and so I'm filling in uh, for a little bit of uh, audio action as well as working the cameras as I always do. That's great, Randy. We're happy to have you. Anytime you want to drop in and lend your voice to Rescue Me, we're always happy to hear it. Well, who do you have there, Terry? I've got Hammy here. Yeah, don't laugh at his name. He is a ham. The volunteers have him out on the agility course, and he just loves to run agility, and he makes a big production out of it. So we've named him Hammy. He's just a big ham. He's a love, and isn't he cute? He is the cutest little thing. If you want a uh, teacup-sized dog, this is a good one. And he's soft, soft, soft. And he has no downsides. There's nothing that is wrong about this dog. He gets along with everybody. He loves to be on the leash. He loves to be on your lap. He just loves to be with you. So you could love him if you want to come down to the shelter and adopt him. His number is 205544-HAMMY. He's ready for his close-up. Now, Randy, here's a big, strong boy. He looks big. He looks strong. But I hear he's friendly. Yes, he is very friendly, and he likes to walk, and he's great when he walks with his easy walk harness. This is a special kind of a leash situation that is very good for a strong dog like this. <laughs> <laughs> right who's, now, stro who's stronger, Sandy Right now, Bowser is investigating Bowser. the entire Sally Port here. Bowser's number is 204501, and he's... Of, uh, eligible for the senior adoption rebate of $35. If you fall in love with him, we give you $35 back on your adoption fee. So that's pretty darn good. I love to save money. Uh-huh. Bowser's number again, 204501. Well, I don't know about you, Randy, but I'm looking at a Christmas card right here. What's this? And this is great. What a nice, relaxed, laid-back setup. Wow. And this is all this dog wants to do. This is a precious, precious dog. He is just a love. He is good with cats. He's good with dogs his size. And he's good with smaller dogs. He has no downside. What's his name? His name is Zorro. Ah. And Zorro is a senior, so he is available for the for the senior rebate. $35 back on your adoption fee if you adopt Zorro. And you are getting such a prize with this dog. He is a wonderful creature. I love him. His ID number is 205324. You'd be lucky to have him. Oh, Randy, this is one of my favorites. This is Holly. Isn't she the sweetest thing you've ever seen? She is, and probably the shortest. I know. She's standing up. That's full height for her. <laughs> she's a wonderful, wonderful dog. Someone has fashioned her ears. We don't know who that was. But anyway, this is Holly's look. She is much like an old English bulldog, only better, the volunteers say. She won't have any health issues like the old English bulldog has, but she kind of looks like an old English bu bulldog. Short she is great with cats as well. I mean, this is really good. That's amazing. Yeah. Um, Holly is very affectionate also, and she loves to um, go out on walks with you. She appears to be house trained, and she loves her person. What else do you want in a dog? She's ready to go. Ready to go. Her ID number is 205186, and her name is Holly. Hello, Holly. This dog is absolutely charming, and I like his look. I think he's a dog that's going to get you noticed if you trot down the street with him, Randy. What do you think? He's got that beautiful spotted look. Yes. He's uh, got nice colors. He almost reminds you of your Catahoula Leopard dog, huh? I will thought maybe he could be, but he'd be uh, not quite Not Catahoula. quite. We might have one coming up. No, no, no. He's an Australian Shepherd type. That's what Bo is. He's a little bit older. Uh, but he's wonderful. He knows sit. He loves to chase the ball. He's got a lot of energy in him. He likes to play with all the other dogs here. He gets along very well. He is the volunteer's pick of May also. Oh, that's a big honor. It is a big honor. And it volunteers saves money. Said, volunteers say, we love this dog. Let's get him out of here quickly. And so half of his adoption fee is already paid for you. That is Bo, ID number 204376. Love this boy. Another volunteer favorite, Randy, you're looking at Mary Jane, and it looks like she has that cone on to kind of highlight her face. Well, around. when the wind blew, I thought she was going to do a flying nun sort of routine and take off. <laughs> I understand been, she just had some minor surgery. She had some surgery done. She's been very patient with this cone on. She still keeps her personality. She's still in a good mood. And she's still interested in seeing her face on the monitor. Look yes, at that. Yes, she is. Volunteers love this girl. 
She uh, loves to walk, she loves to play, and she does play with a lot of the other dogs here at the shelter, so that's great. Only, she likes cats a little too much, if you know what I mean. Uh, you don't want to put her in a cat house. You don't want to put her in a cat house at all. And half of her ha half of her adoption fee has been paid, so she goes home with you for half an adoption fee. We got quite a few dogs here who have their adoption fees half Which paid. Which is wonderful. You can get a bargain. And look, you get all this love that goes along with her. Lots of, lots kisses. of kisses, lots of love. ID number 204670 takes Mary Jane. Here's a newcomer to the shelter. We found this dog on the 15th of May in the South County at Teft and Oak Glen. So that's in the Pomo. This dog is older. We figure about eight years old. He's got a little gray on that muzzle, He's I think. He's got gray on the muzzle. And his ID number is 205628. If this guy does not get collected by his owner, we're going to name him Reggie. I think it's a nice distinguished name for him. Reggie's a good name. Reggie's it's too bad he didn't have a name and number on his collar. He would have been home already. That's another thing. He's wearing a collar, but nobody thought to put an ID on that collar or write it in Sharpie marker, Randy. It's so easy. But nobody did that for Reggie, so if he winds up, he'll have a new home and a new collar and a new uh, ID. ID number 205628, Reggie. So here we have Lucy, and Lucy showing you off her entire body there and her distinctive half and half eye situation. She looks like Petey from our gang, but she's a girl and her name is Lucy for sure. It's a beautiful makeup job. It really is. This is a gal who loves to chase the ball. I was out in the yard with her 25 times, Randy. I kid you not. And you were probably more tired than I she was. I was. I said, let's find something else to do. So I tossed her another toy. She loved that too. She loves to play. Her ID number, 203298, and half of her adoption fee is paid. So if you fancy Lucy, and why wouldn't you, half adoption fee paid. ID number, 203298. I don't know about you, Randy, but I think this gal is absolutely stunning. She looks absolutely intelligent as well. Well, I hear she not only is intelligent, but that she gets along with cats and dogs and just loves to have fun. Which is really ideal in a dog. She's a little skittish here at the shelter. She doesn't like it. This is not a nice place to be, no matter what you've heard, Randy. Well, as Larry said, she's smart enough to know it's not That's a fun right. place. That's right. And we'd like to get her out of here ASAP. And she's a fine, fine dog. You'd be lucky to have her. She likes to play fetch and frisbee, and she's a mellow sweetie. You can give her hugs just like that. Her name is Dasha or Dashia. We don't know how that's actually pronounced. We didn't give her that name. She came with it. And she's got a very big pink collar there, so you can write your phone number right on it if you're lucky enough to get this dog. Her ID number is 205437. She's Larry's favorite right now, and Larry knows what he's talking about. He knows dogs. 205437, Dasha. Well, Dottie here has had a very busy week. She made an appearance, if you make an appearance on a radio show on Friday, and she went there with Greer, and they talked her up for a half an hour. And now she's on TV. This gal's got a career here, Randy. She's a media star. She's a media star, and look at that face. Why shouldn't she be? She gets along great with other dogs. We think she hasn't had a lot of experience with people. This would be a great dog to add to your family if you already had a dog and you wanted a second dog. She'd be great. And she is excellent, or seems excellent, with cats. Cats, and volunteers don't usually write that on cards for nothing. So if you have cats, dogs, Dottie seems to be the one that will fit into your family fine. Also, Randy, she loves to give kisses. Oh, well, that's important. If you want a dog to love on, you need one who will kiss you back. Yes, that's right. And she's not kissing Greer right now, but I know that she would if she could. Right now, she's letting you see who she is. Her ID number is 194229, and her name is Dottie. Sweet, sweet Dottie. This is this little guy's first time on TV, and he just spotted himself on TV and gave a little woof woof. Who's that dog? I don't know. He is a cross between a pug and a chihuahua, as you can see. He's a doll. <laughs> he came to us on the 5th of uh, May, for, uh, the 4th of May, and he came from the North County Paso Robles. Are you missing this dog? He's very distinctive, you know, if you were missing him. He's already neutered, and he's two years old. He um, is going to be named Puggles if he remains with us. If his owner comes and gets him, that would be great. But if you're interested in him, we'll be calling him Puggles. ID number 205366. So you pug lovers out there, come on down and meet him. He's a doll. 
volunteers are crazy about this girl. She's very young. Her name is Daisy. She's just about a year old. I think she's a, one of our younger ones that we have here. She is great on a leash, and she's cute, too. She's That's got that great-looking coat. Makes her kind of look like a tiger stripe, yes. something or other. Yes. You like that brindle look. I do like it. Yeah, I do, too. She is uh, ID number 205557, so consider Daisy. This gal's name is Goofy, and she is a rat terrier, and she is a classic rat terrier. Well, you everything. know what that means. A real rat terrier, a full of energy. Full of energy. She's busy, busy, busy. What's going on? What am I doing today? On her agenda would be a good game of fetch, a good hike, running, chasing gophers and toys. You get what I mean, Randy, about Followed this? by 20 laps around the yard. She needs to be busy. She wants to be busy, so keep her busy if you get Goofy. She is ID number 204693. She's a very good girl, but you need to know that going in. She's going to need to be kept busy. And, and she's cute. And she'll keep you busy. ID number 204693. Goofy. Greer's getting some kisses. Yes, this is Brownie's number one, <laughs> as you can see. Brownie's number one great characteristic is that he loves his person. Now, Greer today is his person. He really is a very loving dog, and why not? He is a, such a lovely creature. We all love him. Yeah, the folks at home want to see your face, Brownie. They can see your tongue quite readily. He's easy on a leash. He's easy to walk. He'll sit at your feet if that's what you're doing. No cats whatsoever. He likes cats a little bit too much. So we don't want to put Brownie in a situation with a cat. Also, Randy, half of his adoption fee has been paid. Somebody got, got decided. quite a few of those. Yes, we do. Someone decided that he was a really great dog, want, motivated to get that dog out of here, so put half his adoption fee on him. So that's really great, too. Brownie is worth it, 100%. ID number 924907. Brownie, he's collapsing here with love for Greer. He is a lap dog. Time for a nap. <laughs> so, Randy, this is Bandit. And this is the guy who is Sandy's foster. He wasn't doing great at the shelter. Oh, well, any dog that gets to go to foster with Sandy comes out looking great. Really, really, really. He just needed time away from the shelter. It's a very stressful place. Some dogs do better here than others, and... Bandit's not one that does, did well here, so Sandy took him home. And I understand he did very well with Sandy. He did very well. She gives him high marks and everything. And here's some great things. He is crate trained, which I think is great in a dog. Oh, yeah. He's great on a leash, and he uses the doggy door. You forgot. And he's housebroken. He's housebroken. That's really, really important. <laughs> I know. In our book, that's really, really high marks for that. And he loves to play. Sandy says, play, play, play. That's what Bandit wants to do. So if you like to play with a dog, Bandit's the one for you. You can get in touch and meet Bandit, meet Sandy and Bandit, by calling the office, 781-4400, and giving them the ID number, 202996 for Bandit, and they'll connect you with Sandy, and then you can meet Bandit, and maybe you'll take him home. That would be great. Again, Bandit's ID number is 202996. I'm looking at Lolly Randy, and I think she is the beauty queen of the shelter. She's a really good-looking kind of golden retriever-ish, but yes. better. Yes, better than a golden retriever. She is beautifully marked. She's a very sweet girl. Volunteers give her high marks in everything. She's very playful. Yeah. She's got a lot of energy, and she's just about a year old. So That's she's a youngster. A really young dog. I'm really attracted to this this dog. She is ID number two zero five six four one Lolly. Now Shadow here is a gal who it needs an experienced person who knows dogs, especially German Shepherd dogs. Well, she's a German Shepherd. That's she's why. got a lot of energy and she wants to do it her way. She, she wants to do it her way. She enjoys walks. She'll walk with you anywhere. Uh, she is a great dog, but she does need an experienced person. So anybody who knows German Shepherd dogs will appreciate her. Her ID number is 907002, Shadow. Well, here's a newcomer to the shelter. We found this dog on the, 5th of, um, the 15th of May in San Luis City at Santa Rosa and Foothills. So she was trotting around San Luis. 
Um, I expected her to up. find her in some cow pasture somewhere. She looks kind of like <laughs> a Guernsey does. or something. We picked her up there. She, um, we will be calling her Robin if her owner doesn't collect her. She's a very young dog. We figure about a year and, and, and a half. Her ID number is 205624. We'll be naming her Robin, 205624. Here's a very handsome fellow, and I think he is aptly named Randy. His name is Duke. Oh, Duke. Okay, I can understand that. That's a darn good name for him. He is high energy. He loves to play. He's a fun guy. This is a party-type dog. Look at him. He also <laughs> has a nice costume on. He's got a brindle coat all over. <laughs> Yes, he does. And as I said, his name is Duke, and his ID number is 205564. Fun, and you can have fun with him. You see, he doesn't mind all that rough and, rough and tumble stuff that Larry likes to do with him. 205564. Duke. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Another pretty, pretty girl. This is Cinnamon, and I think she is so aptly named. It's She's a great name for her. The great color. Great color. Look at those long legs, too. I Look bet at those worry run. lines on her forehead, though. What are you well, worried about, Cinnamon? Well, come on, Randy. <laughs> if you were here, you'd be worried, too. <laughs> this is not a fun place. We try to make it look fun. We warm it up with the dogs, but really, this is not a good place to be. Well, that's why we try and get every single animal adopted out of here as quick as possible, because it's not a fun place. It's not a fun place, and you guys out there can help out not having any dogs come in here. If you just put some kind of ID on a dog, right with a Sharpie marker on the collar, get an ID on your pet. Anyway, Cinnamon, ID number 205587 good on a leash, she likes to walk, and she appears to be house trained. A good all-around girl. 205-587 Cinnamon. Here is a nice blue pit. His name is Dale. He's a low rider. He's standing up as, well, his back leg's not so, but that's as tall as he's going to be. Randy. You usually think of pits as bigger dogs, and if you're looking for a medium size, this would be it. Yeah, he might even be able to do that skateboard business that that dog on TV <laughs> he does. He kind of has the look. He does, doesn't he? I could see him kind of with the skateboard there. Well, maybe kite surfing here on the coast. Oh, he's a sweet, sweet boy. He likes to walk, and he appears to be house trained. His ID number is 204700, and his name is Dale. Now, Sally here, Randy, is our other volunteer pick of the month. She's been volunteer pick for quite a few months. She's been here since January. Oh, it's unbelievable. She's Can you such a nice that? looking dog. She is. She is. She is. The thing is, she doesn't really want to do a lot. She's not <laughs> There's not much on her agenda except hanging out. Well, I understand there's a lot of people who don't want to do it a lot, and this could be their dog. Well, that's a great idea. If you're a guy who does guy or a gal who doesn't like to do a lot, maybe watch a little TV, sit around. Take Sally's a short the dog walk, for you, yeah. Once in a while. And you get all that Rottweiler love. I mean, the Rottweiler is devoted to their person, so Sally would be ideal. She's young. She's only five years old. Oh, she's got a lot of life left. No cats whatsoever. Well, she should be your dogs. only pet, you yes. know. Well, she deserves to be your only pet. You can just focus right on her, and she'll just stay with you. But there's just nothing wrong with her. If you've nope. got her at your house and just want to hang out, this is the dog for you. This is. She's mellow. She loves people, but no cats and no dogs. Her name is Sally. Her ID number is 203359. She's a volunteer's pick, so that works out for you. That half her adoption fee is already paid. ID number 203359, Sally doesn't want to do a thing. Just like she's doing right now. Hello, Lewis. This is going to be the most interesting dog you're going to see today. I guarantee it. What do you think, Randy? I think it's a mix of a whole bunch of different things. We call this dog an all skate. You know what I mean? <laughs> I see. What they see in this dog is a Catahoula leopard dog, your I favorite. I see some Great Dane in there. Great Dane for, for sure. Legs. My sister would love this dog. She wants a Great Dane. He's only a year and three months old. A baby. A baby. And he's um, a love. Everybody loves this dog. He's great with kids, dogs, and cats. So he doesn't have a downside. He's and big. You have to want to have a big dog. A big dog who will get attention. Look at the look. <laughs> yes. Very friendly. His name is Lewis, and his ID number is 954763. Lewis. Now, Lizzie here is reacting to a lot of things around here. It's very windy out here today, so she's kind of sniffing and smelling something. So 
This is not how she usually is. She's a little skittish here, but she's very sweet and she loves to play in the agility yard. Volunteers say she's also very good on the leash. She is just about four years old and her ID number is 205340. Consider her. Now you're looking at Henry here, and Henry is six months old. Just a puppy. Just a puppy. Now how do you know how big a dog oh. is going to get when they're just a puppy? Take a look at the feet. <laughs> Henry? Oh, big Hen Henry, feet. Henry's going to be a very big dog, probably about 80 pounds. So you've got to know going in, if you want to adopt Henry, that he's going to be a very big dog. And this is not a bad thing. But you have to know it. He's already he a laid-back kind of, dog. He's very laid-back. <laughs> loves to lounge around, as you can see. He doesn't seem to have any drawbacks. He likes to play fetch, and he appears to be house-trained. He's loving and a wonderful pup. That's what the volunteers have to say. He doesn't like cats, or maybe he likes cats a little bit too much, so we don't want him to go to a house that has any cats. Henry's ID number is 205367. He's a delightful dog. Here's another dog that's just a youngster. He's just about a year old. His name is Bishop. And he knows sit and shake already. That's pretty oh. darn good. He's learning some stuff. He's learning some stuff. Volunteers work with the dogs around here and they try to teach them things, especially to calm down when they're in their kennels so that they aren't um, too rambunctious. Bishop's ID number 205555. Lots of fives for Bishop. 205555. Here's a newcomer to the shelter. Have you lost this dog? We found this dog in the South County on the 18th of May, 15th Street in Oceano. This dog is male, just about two years old. His ID number is 205653. If his owner doesn't come and claim him, he'll be available for adoption. ID number 205653. Randy, this is one of my favorite breeds in a dog, a Queensland Healer. They are great, intelligent, working dogs. I really, really like them. This guy's name is Colby. He's just about two years old, and he's a really nice boy. His ID number is 205656. He could take a little weight off. Queenslands usually are very trim and slim. Well, I'd say he's probably been hanging out, eating too much, I not exercising so. enough. So get him out, take him for a few runs, and he'll start losing some weight. He needs to lose weight, so if you're somebody who's out there who needs to lose weight, the two of you can go on a trot and lose weight together. Colby's number, 205656. Dogs, dogs, dogs. Now we're going to cats, cats, cats. And first up, we have Jake. Isn't he a very handsome boy? He is a great tabby. Nice and big and nice and handsome. That's Jake. He's just about two years old, and half of his adoption fee has been paid. That's right. Somebody came in here, couldn't adopt him, but wanted to help him get out of here sooner than later, so put up half of his adoption fee. So that's already paid for you. So Jake's ID number, if you want to connect with him, is 204203, and why don't you just come on down here and meet him. That's Jake, 204203. Take a look at Lola. Isn't she gorgeous? She is a yummy, yummy black cat with those gorgeous topaz eyes. Lola's half adoption fee has been paid also. Same person fell in love with her but couldn't take her home, so paid half the adoption fee. She is a long-haired black cat, and now she's showing off all her glory. Handsome, handsome Lola. ID number 204563. That's Lola. Say hi to Opal. Hi, Opal. She is so pretty. Look at those markings on her. She is a gorgeous long-haired cat. She is ID number 155763. That's Opal. Take a look at Sweet Pea. Sweet Pea is a male. He is an older guy. He's just about 10 years old, and we are waiving his adoption fee. If you come down here and meet him and really love him, you can take him home and no money for you to pay on Sweet Pea. He's a wonderful, wonderful guy. He is ID number 204413, Sweet Pea. Well, hi there. Here's a very shy cat. This is a female cat. We found this cat on the 18th of May in Atascadero on Ensenada Road and Atascadero Creek. This cat is female, ID number 205660. Are you missing this cat? 
if we don't get a call on this cat and the owner doesn't pick her up, we're going to call her Renee and she will be available for adoption. Her number is 205-660. Say hi to Red. Red is a classic orange tabby. Red is declawed. So if you need a cat who's declawed, why don't you come down and adopt Red instead of putting another cat through that surgery? This surgery is already done. Red is ID number 205603. Here's a great looking cat. This cat is a classic tabby on white. He is a male. He is just about a year old and he's full of life. He is ID number 205651. If he doesn't get found by his owner, we're going to call him Nubbins. 205651, very chatty cat. Here's a really scared kitty. This cat's name is Mama Kitty. She is tabby, as you can see, just about two years old. And here's how you can help us out if you want to come and volunteer with us. We need volunteers to come and work with the cats. A cat like Mama Kitty, if you come down here and just get her out of her cage, talk to her, pet her, groom her, she will come out of her shell, and that makes her adoption potential rise very highly. Otherwise, she'll just remain scared in the back of a cage, and that's no life to live for anybody, any cat down here. So think about volunteering. If you want to, just call our volunteer line, 781-4413, and we'll get back to you with information on how you go about volunteering. For now, consider adopting Mama Kitty, 205661. And here's our first tortoiseshell of the day. This is Coco. Coco is about nine years old which qualifies her for the senior rebate. That's right, anybody over eight years old qualifies for the senior rebate and that is $35 back to you if you adopt Coco. She is a gorgeous tortoiseshell as you can see and her ID number is 205662, Coco. And here's Snooky. Snooky is a long haired tortoiseshell. She is our volunteers pick of the month. What does that mean? Volunteers got together and decided which of all the cats most deserve the title volunteer pick, which would be their favorite, and Snooky got the vote. That means half of her adoption fee is waived for you if you come down here and adopt her. Snooky's ID number 205229. Snooky. <laughs> 